Hi, I'm Nezvers and I do stuff. Today I watched a devlog from channel Game3Dev. Uh, in Russian he talked about uh, how he deals with uh, LOD levels. He has pretty, pretty, pretty game uh, looking like PlayStation era. But uh, uh, one moment got my attention on uh, how he deals with that. Each, each object object that uh, is affected by LOD, by LOD is running physics, uh, not physics, but a process function. Meaning, if he has thousands of those objects, each is running each frame uh, a method to check distance uh, and I I created uh, like a visualization how you should manage that like this is 2d 2d presentation and uh, Godot doesn't like to draw rects but basically your uh, you need to make uh, whole world like uh, represented in 2D grid and uh, like player can walk within the cell and nothing changed and as soon he cross the, the cell uh, your manager man you have one manager uh, object that's uh, detecting that player is uh, changing cell and update all needed objects. Well, drawing racks is really slow. <laughs> well, uh, this is like 2D representation. Uh, like red is the high high resolution uh, details. Uh, blue is like a lower and. Uh, the black one is uh, turning off uh, the object. That's that's how I did it uh, for this project. But you can uh, extend. You should probably extend the at least second layer, uh, so it's more visible on the screen. That's. Uh, but let's take a look uh, on 3D. Uh, presentation I made a simple scene and level is spawning those uh, LOD objects uh, I wanted to create for at least 400 of them and I uh, didn't want to place each of them manually in the scene so I did it uh, on ready but where is it I did uh, yield for each of uh, object uh, because spawning that many is really taxing on CPU but that's taking only 400 uh, frames let's step out and just check it there's 400 of uh, those object instances on the map and they, they simply can run through uh, through the map and no hiccups whatsoever uh, it's pretty obvious uh, that uh, popping in uh, because the, the second layer is really thin and you can if those are corner cases, they almost instantly uh, jump in and uh, transitions to first level. But let's find. Uh, okay, this looks great. Like you can see, it's uh, low detail there and think. So, 
If you are interested how I did it, uh, I will create a GitHub, GitHub repository, but I can take you through it. So, each instance has this script. Uh, on ready it sets itself uh, the third uh, level, which is invisible. So it's not drawn. And... If, if you have like um, already populated map, well, uh, then I would suggest uh, putting something like yield, waiting when the uh, level is setting how big the grid is, then uh, add itself uh, to the manager. Hello the manager, yeah. Um, let's take actually take a look on grass like uh, this is detailed LOD and this is like second level just one quad mesh with the billboard Y up okay let's change um, so that's simple and LOD manager uh, if you see, if you have seen my tile destruction tutorial, you know I prefer having already hard coded uh, offsets from position you need to check. Like this checks all the positions where LOD high de detailed LOD should be. This checks uh, where. Uh, second level should be, and this checks outer uh, layer for turning off. So, um, uh, bum, 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 bum. This, this is okay. So, level level is setting grid and setting target. Set target, uh, set grid. Uh, the one important thing is you need to set your map maps uh, uh, most negative corner as origin point, so you can give like a rect uh, origin and size. Then. Uh, LOD manager just uh, calculates how uh, also you give the cell size it uh, sets cell size sets origin and sets uh, oh shit uh, little <laughs> bug but uh, it's still the same uh, okay uh, so it sets up and populates uh, array that will hold uh, objects for each cell. Well, it, okay, uh, you will understand it yourself when you check it. Or oh, you don't need it to, to understand, just use it. And for tracking target, it just. Um, Rounding up uh, on integer for x and y divided by cell size, so you can move within cell that's bigger than your position. Um, in process, track target. If there's no target, uh, it returns false, so nothing happens. But if there is target, it gets tracked checks if x or y has been changed update lod and sets last uh, x to so we can track last position so lod position uh target position is turned into vector 2 uh, it's easier to work 
uh, work with those off offsets. So in LOD positions for each, for each, uh, for each uh, LOD layer or level, it goes through and fetch uh, all array for all array arrays for offsets. So here it uh, gets. Uh, all layer layer offsets offsets offset array and uh, goes through all of those offsets so tar target uh, position plus offset we check uh, x and y of those checkable positions check if the those checkable up positions are out of bounds if they are not update the cell uh, objects well if there are uh, objects in that cell uh, and those objects uh, where I mentioned that each instance um, add it him add itself to LOD manager and here it parses their X and Y uh, rounded to integer and after dividing to cell size and that's uh, to appropriate uh, array position basically for each cell uh, I mean, uh, for a cell that's in their position. Uh, I'm hoping you can follow up. If not, just just check out the repo. repo. So, and uh, here when LOD is updated, uh, we ch so update the cell. It checks if that cell has any object. If there are some objects uh, we send it it will send uh, LOD level that's basically it uh, let's go again and 400 400 instance here yay <laughs> oh I, ho I hope you like this uh, tutorial video and if you want more subscribe and you will hopefully get more if you like this video uh, please help me out and like the video if you can share okay you know all that um, see you later